breaking news that's bringing smiles to countless Canadian seniors. In a groundbreaking announcement that's sending waves of relief across the nation, Service Canada has just unveiled an unexpected increase in guaranteed income supplement payments starting this November. This surprise boost couldn't have come at a better time, as Canadian seniors navigate rising living costs and economic uncertainties. The announcement marks a significant milestone in Canada's commitment to supporting its elderly population, ensuring they can maintain their dignity and quality of life during their golden years. The timing of this announcement has left many Canadian seniors pleasantly surprised, as it comes just before the holiday season when expenses typically increase. This unexpected financial boost represents more than just additional dollars in bank accounts, it symbolizes the government's recognition of the vital contributions seniors have made to building our great nation. The increase in GI's payments will directly impact hundreds of thousands of elderly Canadians who rely on this crucial support to make ends meet, bringing much-needed financial relief and security to our most vulnerable senior citizens. As the news spreads across communities, senior centers, and households nationwide, the atmosphere is filled with optimism and gratitude. This increase in GI's payments demonstrates Canada's unwavering commitment to its social safety net, particularly for those who have spent their lives contributing to our country's growth and prosperity. The announcement has been particularly well-received given the current economic climate, where many seniors have been feeling the pinch of inflation and rising costs in everything from groceries to healthcare expenses. The decision to implement this increase comes after careful consideration of various economic factors and the real-world challenges faced by Canadian seniors. Service Canada's move reflects a deep understanding of the financial pressures many elderly citizens are experiencing especially those living on fixed incomes. This proactive approach to addressing the needs of seniors showcases the government's responsiveness to the evolving economic landscape and its impact on vulnerable populations. What makes this announcement even more significant is its timing coming just as many seniors were beginning to worry about how they would manage their winter expenses. The increase in GI's payments will help ease concerns about heating bills, winter clothing and other seasonal necessities that often strain fixed incomes during the colder months. This thoughtful timing demonstrates Service Canada's awareness of the seasonal challenges faced by seniors and their commitment to providing support when it's needed most. The ripple effects of this increase will extend far beyond individual bank accounts. Local economies are expected to benefit as seniors gain more purchasing power allowing them to participate more actively in their communities. From supporting local businesses to being able to afford small luxuries they may have had to forgo, this increase in GI's payments will contribute to the overall economic health of neighborhoods across Canada. Community organizations and senior advocates have welcomed this news with enthusiasm, noting that it addresses a long-standing concern about the adequacy of support for elderly Canadians. Many have pointed out that this increase will help bridge the gap between basic needs and available resources, providing seniors with greater financial flexibility and peace of mind. The announcement has been particularly celebrated by those working directly with elderly populations, who witness firsthand the challenges many seniors face in maintaining their standard of living. For many Canadian seniors, this increase represents more than just additional financial support, it's an acknowledgement of their dignity and worth. The boost in GI's payments will help many maintain their independence, allowing them to age in place and continue participating in their communities. This aspect of the announcement aligns perfectly with Canada's broader goals of promoting healthy aging and ensuring seniors can maintain their autonomy and quality of life. The implementation of this increase has been carefully planned to ensure a smooth transition for recipients. Service Canada has emphasized that eligible seniors will automatically see the increase reflected in their November payments, requiring no additional action on their part. This streamlined approach demonstrates the government's commitment to making the process as simple and stress-free as possible for seniors, many of whom may find navigating bureaucratic procedures challenging. Looking at the broader impact, this increase in GI's payments reflects Canada's progressive approach to social welfare and its recognition of the changing needs of an aging population. As demographics shift and the proportion of elderly citizens grows, such measures become increasingly important in ensuring the well-being of all Canadians. The announcement serves as a reminder of the country's commitment to supporting its seniors through comprehensive social programs. 
The news has sparked conversations about the future of senior support in Canada, with many viewing this increase as a positive step toward addressing the evolving needs of an aging population. It demonstrates the government's awareness of the challenges faced by seniors and its willingness to take concrete action to address these challenges. This proactive approach sets a positive precedent for future policy decisions regarding senior welfare and support. Financial experts have weighed in on the announcement, highlighting how this increase will help seniors cope with the current economic climate. Many have noted that the timing is particularly appropriate given the recent increases in living costs and the additional financial pressures many seniors have been experiencing. The boost in GI's payments will provide a welcome buffer against these rising expenses, helping seniors maintain their standard of living. For families with elderly members, this announcement brings a sense of relief and reassurance. Many adult children who help support their aging parents have expressed gratitude for this additional support, noting that it will help ease some of the financial pressure on both generations. This intergenerational impact highlights the broader social benefits of supporting seniors through programs like the GIs. The announcement has also drawn attention to Canada's comprehensive approach to senior welfare, which includes various support programs and services designed to ensure dignity and security in old age. The GIs increase is seen as part of this larger framework, demonstrating the government's commitment to maintaining and enhancing these vital support systems. It serves as a reminder of the importance of continually evaluating and adjusting these programs to meet the changing needs of seniors. Community centers and senior organizations across the country are preparing to help spread awareness about this increase, ensuring that all eligible seniors understand how it will affect them. Many are planning information sessions and outreach programs to help seniors maximize the benefits of this additional support. This grassroots effort shows how communities come together to support their elderly members and ensure no one misses out on this important benefit. The increase in GI's payments will have particular significance for senior women, who historically tend to have lower retirement incomes and often live longer than their male counterparts. This boost in support will help address some of the financial challenges faced by elderly women, particularly those who live alone or have limited pension income. It represents an important step toward ensuring financial security for all seniors, regardless of gender. Rural seniors, who often face unique challenges in terms of access to services and higher costs for necessities, will find this increase particularly beneficial. The additional support will help offset some of the extra expenses associated with living in rural areas, such as transportation costs and higher prices for goods and services. This aspect of the announcement demonstrates the government's awareness of the diverse needs of seniors across different geographical locations. The timing of this increase also coincides with efforts to promote digital literacy among seniors, as many financial transactions and services move online. The additional financial support may help some seniors invest in technology or training that can help them stay connected and manage their affairs more effectively in an increasingly digital world. This intersection of financial support and technological advancement shows how different aspects of senior support can work together to improve quality of life. Healthcare advocates have noted that this increase could have positive implications for seniors' health outcomes. With more financial resources available, seniors may be better able to afford preventive care, maintain healthy diets, and participate in activities that promote physical and mental well-being. This connection between financial security and health highlights the broader impact of programs like the GIs on seniors' overall quality of life. The announcement has also sparked discussions about retirement planning and the importance of government support programs in ensuring financial security in old age. Financial advisors are using this opportunity to remind Canadians of all ages about the various components of retirement income, including government benefits like the GIs. This educational aspect helps raise awareness about the importance of planning for retirement while highlighting the safety net provided by government programs. Local businesses that serve senior populations have welcomed the news, anticipating that the increased income will allow seniors to maintain their patronage of essential services and perhaps even expand their purchasing power. This economic ripple effect demonstrates how supporting seniors through programs like the GS benefits entire communities, creating positive outcomes that extend far beyond the individual recipients. 
The increase in GI's payments also reflects Canada's position as a global leader in senior care and support. Many international observers have noted how this move aligns with best practices in senior welfare and sets an example for other nations grappling with the challenges of aging populations. This international perspective highlights Canada's commitment to maintaining high standards in senior support and welfare. As news of the increase spreads, many seniors are already making plans for how they will use the additional support. Some are looking forward to being able to afford better quality food or needed home repairs, while others are planning to use the extra funds to participate more fully in community activities or visit family members. These personal stories highlight the real-world impact of policy decisions on individuals' lives. The announcement has also drawn attention to the ongoing dialogue about senior poverty and the importance of maintaining robust support systems for elderly Canadians. Advocacy groups have praised this increase while continuing to work toward long-term solutions for ensuring senior financial security. This balanced approach of celebrating progress while acknowledging ongoing challenges demonstrates the complexity of addressing senior welfare needs. Mental health professionals have noted that financial security plays a crucial role in seniors' emotional well-being. The stress relief provided by this increase in GI's payments could have significant positive effects on mental health outcomes for elderly Canadians. This connection between financial support and mental health underscores the comprehensive benefits of programs like the GI's. This increase in GI's payments also helps address some of the unique challenges faced by single seniors, who often struggle with managing household expenses on one income. The additional support will be particularly meaningful for this group, helping them maintain their independence and quality of life. This aspect of the announcement demonstrates the government's understanding of the diverse needs within the senior population. The news has been particularly well-received in multicultural communities, where many immigrant seniors may have limited pension income due to shorter working histories in Canada. The increase in GI's payments helps ensure that these vulnerable members of our society receive adequate support to maintain a dignified standard of living. This inclusive approach reflects Canada's commitment to supporting all seniors, regardless of their background. As winter approaches, many seniors are expressing relief that this increase will help them manage seasonal expenses more comfortably. From higher heating bills to winter clothing and transportation costs, the additional support will help ease the financial burden that often comes with the colder months. This practical impact of the increase demonstrates how policy decisions can address real-world challenges faced by seniors. The announcement has also highlighted the importance of maintaining open communication channels between government agencies and senior populations. Service Canada's clear communication about the increase and its implementation helps ensure that seniors can access information easily and understand how these changes will affect them. This emphasis on clear communication demonstrates a commitment to making government programs accessible and understandable for all users. Looking ahead, this increase in GI's payments sets a positive precedent for future adjustments to senior support programs. It shows the government's willingness to respond to changing economic conditions and adjust support levels accordingly. This responsive approach to policymaking helps ensure that support programs remain relevant and effective in meeting seniors' needs. Community leaders have emphasized how this increase will help strengthen social connections among seniors by enabling more participation in community activities and events. The ability to engage in social activities is crucial for mental health and well-being, and this additional financial support will help make such participation more accessible for many seniors. This social aspect of the announcement highlights the broader impacts of financial support on quality of life. The timing of this increase also aligns well with ongoing efforts to promote age-friendly communities across Canada. The additional financial support will help seniors take advantage of various programs and services designed to enhance their participation in community life. This coordination between different aspects of senior support demonstrates a comprehensive approach to promoting healthy aging. For many seniors living in urban areas where the cost of living is particularly high, this increase in GS payments provides crucial support in managing everyday expenses. From housing costs to transportation and daily necessities, the additional funds will help urban seniors maintain their standard of living in the face of rising city prices. This consideration of geographical cost variations shows an understanding of the diverse challenges faced by seniors across different settings. 
The announcement has also drawn attention to the role of intergenerational support in Canadian society. Many families have expressed how this increase will help reduce